Hey guys, Josh here from Bris Vegas Fishing with your Dursage Fishing Goodness. Alright guys, we are back again for another episode. So today we are going for a little bit of a guided tour, I guess you could say. Uh, nah, not really. I just out with a mate. His name is Maddie. He's an absolute legend. He loves chasing threadfin salmon as much as I do. So today we are heading out on the Brisbane River, we're gonna go catch a winter threadfin salmon. And just to tell you now, guys, you can still catch them through winter time. It's a little bit more difficult. They're, diff they're just gonna be hanging or holding in different spots. You just gotta work it a little bit more. The main thing is getting bait, uh, fresh bait, variety of bait, and just putting in the hours. Just putting in the hours more than anything is key to being able to catch these guys. Uh, now I know this time of year they are a lot fattier and a lot better quality uh, as opposed to summertime because that's normally when they're spawning so they're a little bit more run down they're not quite as healthy fish so this time of year is a really great time to try and catch them a lot of people aren't trying to catch them just because it's winter it's cold who wants to go out in the cold fishing I know I struggle with it as I'm sure most of you guys do as well so we're gonna get into it Hopefully we can catch something and I'll see you guys out on the water. All right, see ya. Check it out. Tour guided vessel, nice. <laughs> oh, steady now, steady. Oh, oh. I brought a car set. Oh, oh, look at that. Swirl. That just there. Yeah, there he is. That's a salmon. That was a big swirl. Huh? See, he's just out there. Oh, no way. Big fish down there, big fish up here. Do you know what the moon phase is? 30%. Yeah. Well, now's the time that we um, actually got, well, the time of the tide that Dad and I actually got those couple of salmon there the other week, or the other month, just before the top of the tide. Yeah. In this exact spot. We'll wait for it. If you wait long enough, he'll probably hook himself. Yeah, well, you can see him just drifting off the side there. If it is a salmon, he's just can start to take it there now. Could be. If it's real brim bite, it'll be a salmon. Yeah, no, I let him. I let him keep going when it's like this. I can feel it in the line. I can feel what. You can feel tension on it. Yeah, you can feel him sucking on it for it. There you go, that's a salmon. The way you cut the water like that. Yeah. It's either a salmon or a bull shark, possibly a bull shark. Oh, what is that? All right guys, first thready coming up. First possible thready. He doesn't, hasn't gone for a big run yet, so. Still early. I'd say he's gonna come up around this bow, so. It is. Look at him go. There he goes. He's really cutting line there now. Look the way he turns back on himself like that. Oh, does it like a barra too. <laughs> He's coming. Yeah. This is the part where it gets a little bit tricky because he might try and cut back around the anchor right there. That's it. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. This is a bit of a light net. <laughs> All right. So there you go, guys. It's still really easy to get salmon through the winter months. You've just got to put the time and the effort in. Now, this big guy, he's fallen victim to a nice little potty mullet that we caught in the cast net earlier. So just spread him out a little bit more. Look at that. How nice is that? There you go, you can see the bait right up in there. And this guy, he's coming home with us. Beautiful.
Not quite that meter mark. Oh, comes pretty green. <laughs> it's eight something else too. That's not my bait. Yeah, it's like a strip of gar or something. There we go, that, yeah, 98 centimetres. That is a nice fish, but. Solid. Samaki braid of that. Is that the bottom of that? Samaki Japanese PE braid, $27. See, BCF stock a heap of that Samaki now, eh? Vibes and rods. <laughs> Look at this. Jindalee. Is that 30? Seems that way. Why can you just move your rod? I don't know if it's a thready, but. More like a shark. Yeah, spool shark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to in or? No, oh, not really. See if I can snap yeah, a leader. Yeah. 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 They normally ran through around the leader real quick. Which is a good thing. You and sharks. <laughs> but like that's what it gets me. Like people are like, no, nah, you won't get sharks through winter. Well, but, well they reckon they go off and buy. Yeah. guys so we made it back to the boat ramp what an afternoon session real short real sweet little afternoon session out there with maddie it ended up being a pretty good guided tour didn't it we had a real good time out on the water and it just goes to show that even though it's winter time you can still catch threefin salmon in the winter the water temp today was probably sitting around the 18 degrees i believe it was 19 at the peak dropped down to about 18.6 so temperatures are quite cold that you can still get them in the winter time you've just got to make sure you got that variety of bait and you've just got to work work the right tide times work the right moon phase and you should succeed pretty well so with that being said guys remember if you like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure you're hitting that subscribe button it's as easy as hitting this button up here remember guys 80 20 i'll see you in the next one could be a big mullet though, doing about three jumps. Carp noise? Yeah, yeah. The fish like, ah, ah. <laughs>